104.7, The Cave, plays pure classic rock. 104.7, The Cave, Van Halen ain't talking about love. Mike the Intern, good morning. Leonard Skinner working on a new album, which is great news. They just released a live DVD of their first two albums that they recorded in Jacksonville last year. It's phenomenal. If you're a Skinner fan, you definitely need to check it out. But I got Johnny Van Zant on the phone this morning with me, and um, it's kind of a hard thing to get band members together, you know, when you've got the downtime to use. But how did you guys start working on this new album project? Well, we've got to do some writing, you know. Gary Rosenton's a funny guy. He always keeps every little writing session. Hell, he's got stuff on cassettes, you know. And So just a few days ago, we got together and, me and him and Ricky Medlock got together and went back and listened to some of our thoughts that we had on cassettes and that far back and on CD and stuff. And uh, it was pretty amazing, man. We had a great time doing it. So it really inspired us now to kick in making the new studio album. So tell me where some of the material's coming from. For the next few months, we're going to work on songs and song ideas that Gary has found and we have a lot of great songs. I think mean, there was over 11 songs that we really went, wow, that's a great song. Why didn't we do that? You know, because every record, you kind of write too many, or with us, it's too many, you know, so there's a lot of good thoughts out there for songs. So we're going to concentrate on that and try to get out a studio album next year. We'll get to more with Johnny Van Zandt from Skinner on the way next on 104.7 The K. 104.7 The Cave. I'm Mike, the intern on the phone with Johnny Van Zandt from Leonard Skinner talking about their new album. So uh, when are you guys going to get the opportunity to start recording this thing? We write things all the time, you know, but then they're thrown on the shelf and then back and forth. But we're going to get serious about it here in November and December because we do have, we have the luxury of being off, you know, so we're going to get together and throw some stuff down. How are you guys uh, considering working on this project differently than you've done on other studio albums? You know, we may take this record we talked about, doing it in spurts, you know, maybe doing three or four songs here and there, you know, instead of going, okay, let's go in and do a complete record, you know, like we've always done, you know, and take it a little bit more serious back to grassroots and uh, maybe not do so many overdubs, maybe try not to make it slick. It's a deep cut from the Stones, Street Fighting Man on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 104.7 The Cave, the Jay Giles Band, Centerfold. I'm Mike the Intern on the phone with Johnny Van Zant from Leonard Skinner. Now tell me, we all have our favorite versions of bands. What's your favorite version of Leonard Skinner? One of my favorite Skinner albums is probably, as far as like tones and stuff like that, is Give Me Back My Bullets. And it probably was the least perfected sound wise, you know, it really wasn't that great of a sounding record, but the songs made it, you know. So we're looking at going back and Hey, let's make the songs and forget the sound, <laughs> you know? Let's do it rootsy and make sure the songs are there. So you guys are going for a rougher sound? The Rolling Stones was a classic band to that thing, you know what I mean? When you listen to their records, man, I mean, you can tell they just went in and just played this shit, you know, and it came out great. Thank you so much, Johnny, for your time this morning. Good luck on the new album. I'm Mike the Intern, and we've got a six-pack of Pure Classic Rock on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. The Cave plays pure classic rock.